I gained a whole new family with defects and everybody involved, the foster parents, all of that. So it's an amazing feeling. I define Family First as a new law that implements a really old principle. Uh, we know that children uh, belong in their own families. Children have the right to be raised by their own parents if that's safe. And if they can't, we should look for relatives uh, and we should try to provide services to keep children either with their families or with their kinfolk uh, in the community. Spread it on there. I was using when I was pregnant. I was using the whole time I had him, and I overdosed three times in one week. Um, and that is when my reality check came. I was embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. I had a lot of shame. If, if defects did not get involved, I would not be here today. Yeah. No. The investigators, they made me feel like they, they weren't trying to keep Maddie and I apart. They helped me too, like if I had questions on how to discipline him or how to implement different structures or schedules with him throughout the day, like I could go to them. When I talk about Family First, I talk about Family First, the act, and Family First, the opportunity. The act is a piece of legislation that changes some things about federal funding. The opportunity is this chance that we have as a state child welfare system to come together around the values of keeping children with their families. Family First provides Georgia the opportunity to serve families in their home whenever possible to preserve the family unit. I want case managers to know that under Family First, a lot of the work in investigations and family preservation is really gonna look the same. There will just be more resources available for you to link families to, so that that's the first intervention rather than looking at coming into foster care. We won't be able to get 4E funds for our group homes except in certain cases, and we will be able to start billing uh, our 4E federal funds for some of the community-based services to keep children out of foster care. But at the same time, it's not gonna be just flipping the switch. I ask our partners to, and our families and our communities to be patient. Implementation will take quite some time. We're gonna be required to track what services we're offering and what impact they're having on families and report on that in a way that we don't currently. This is our opportunity to get it right for children and families, and I'm excited. And I'm excited because of what family means to me and why I do this work every day. Family First in some ways recognizes ways that the system has failed families in the past or the way that the system has contributed to negative outcomes for children and families. And with the recognition that intervening with foster care first is not always the best approach. Family first gives us both the uh, obligation and the opportunity to bring in other agencies, to bring in our provider community, to bring in uh, the faith community, to bring in uh, the Department of Community Health and our Medicaid agency, the Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities, and to bring in the, all of the state agencies that essentially create or make up our child welfare system. This is probably the most exciting time to be in child welfare in my professional career. Here, let me go on this side then. <laughs> you just dried it off for me. That's gonna be hope for a lot of people in my situation and that's gonna help people keep fighting because you know they're not having their kids ripped away from them. They have people that are willing to cheer for them even if they have nobody else. Defax doesn't want our families to be torn apart, you know? We all have a story. We have to embrace it and we have to accept it and be held accountable and fight. He is my light and he never fails to remind me. <laughs> he is my light indeed.